All right, second version. I've taken the liberty of already started coloring it. You've seen me color before. It's riveting, I know. You're also going to use, um, this is the simplest thing. So if you have water-based marker, those crazy art markers will actually work if you actually got your pack. You probably don't because we didn't do distribution yet, but in the next couple weeks you will. You'll need some water. You'll need a brush. This one will work. I have a million brushes in here. <clears throat> so I did the outside with this fancy you know I mean this, this one. Mm, I that one. All right. So I did the outside with the regular red. And I'm gonna add some black to it. Now I did the original outline in Sharpie, and y'all know that Sharpies do not bleed. So I'm going to add some black. Oh my gosh, this is so ugly. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Trust me. Don't worry. Don't worry. So we're going to add some red. I'm going to pull more red down here and you're like, what are you doing, Miss M? It looks like the kindergartners just ruined your work. No, no, it's not what happened. And if you have a kindergarten in your house, they're fine. Don't ruin it. They didn't ruin anything. Um, and I'm going to put some red up top. Oh, God, that's hideous. Let's take it from the top. So you're like, well, what are you doing with this mess? This is a mess. Take your water, and mix it with your colors, and voila. It's like all of a sudden you have a water color. Um, I will say you have to have a sturdy paper. So if you have flimsy paper at home, this is not the technique to use. If you have something a little stiffer, some kind of art paper, perhaps when you get your um, multimedia sketchbooks that we're supposed to get, you know, the sketchbooks that are in the uh, art kits with the hideous crayons that I keep pointing out. That might be good. You know where this would also work out good? If you did the outline, the original black color, so you don't have a sharpie marker and you use the black crayon or any color crayon. That crayon will not bleed. You know why? Because crayons and color pencils, color pencils too, will not bleed. They are made with, what's that stuff? Wax. So... You could put water right over that stuff and it would not matter. So look at, look at this, look at this nonsense that I'm doing. It's crazy, right? It's like, oh, you didn't use paint. I didn't see you use paint there. No, no, you didn't. So now you remember where I put the black? <gasps> I made a shade. So anywhere where I'm mixing the black in, that's making a shade. Anywhere where I'm mixing, that one's a bit dark. I should have been lit. So moral of the story, use less black. Add more if you need it. I'm going to try to make a line so it kind of has that shiny, you know how like metal has that shiny look? This is actually what I'm going for. I've been playing with this a little bit. So I use one actual color. Remember, black doesn't count as a color. It's a neutral. So when we make monochromatic paintings or drawings, and I could have done a better job. You can still see some of the scribbles. So the more I work with the brush, the more, so you don't need expensive watercolors. I mean, you don't. Um, to do this, but you could use some of the things that come in your art kit and some of them are actually usable as opposed to crayons. I mean, I guess you could make candles out of them. I don't know if they make good candles. So there you go. I think that looks pretty awesome. And that's one color. Oh, black. And then if you want to make it lighter, you can actually take some of the water. I would suggest doing the tint first. You can actually, here's a little advanced trick. So like when you're, when you're like me and you're advanced water, I can actually, I have proof of that. I do. I'm going to do like a studio tour. I keep saying this stuff. Like, John Fox, like, I just want to do a studio tour for you guys. 
my giant studio. All right, there we go. Ta-da!